Greetings. How's everybody doing today? Happy Monday. Oh, we are at the moon day again, my favorite. And there's my little moon child in the back in school, not wanting to be bothered. Anyway, so today is Monday and um, the moon is in Pisces. But first, before I talk about that, I want to let you all know that Wednesday will be the final Mercury retrograde class. Mercury Retrograde Reset in Scorpio, where Kelly Lynn Prime and I will be coming together to um, support the transformation of this energy, the transmuting of this energy through Mercury, through Scorpio. Um, our capacity to be able to harness the energy of our shadow and use that energy as power. One of the things that's most profound is the places where we hide from ourselves, our shadows, the places where we um, have abandoned ourselves, where we are um, unwilling to look at ourselves. You know, just imagine you have a closet in your house. I know I have one where I just walk by it and occasionally I throw something in there and be like, I'll get back to that another time. Well, that's that's your shadow right there that closet that's filled with stuff or that garage or the place under your bed that you know where you store all the things that you don't know exactly what to do with them or you know or you don't want to deal with them just yet so family secrets trauma all that sort of stuff is there and that's power that's all energy that's all something you can use for your growth and evolution and so that's what we're doing in this mercury retrograde course so i encourage you to please come and join us for this Wednesday class. Um, also, I am going to be doing a love fest on November 3rd on election day. You know how, you know, for years all my life on election days, I, you know, gather and have election parties and watch, you know, all the results coming in from all over the country and to see who's going to win by the end of the night. Well, my thought was why not have a love fest on that, on that evening? Um, where we literally celebrate passion and purpose and pleasure and come together to um, align ourselves in orgasmic bliss. And I am going to have a list of incredible people who are going to be supporting us in orgasmic meditation and music and dance and, um, and tantra and love poetry and just all the delicious things. And so I'm going to have the link for that by the end of the day. And you do not want to miss that. I literally am so clear that we can harness this energy to open up a new portal as the as the energy is really being pulled into a deep profound negative frequency you know in the collective consciousness it is my intention and desire to open up a portal for love for those of us who are moving into our own sense of power our own sense of authority and our own sense of divine um, divine entry points from within our own consciousness. And the way to do that is through play, passion, power, and pleasure. And so I will be offering that later on, probably tomorrow, and you don't want to miss it. It's going to be on November 3rd. And rather than watching all the results come in, because that's going to happen and be there, whatever it is, we're going to use this energy, energy to drive power through our wombs and through our hearts to open up to all sorts of pleasure that is available now on the planet that nobody's talking about. But I know that it's there because I'm reading the astrology and it's so good. So I'm going to be offering that as well. Okay, so today the moon is in Pisces and the moon in Pisces means that we have dipped into our subconscious. We are in this place where we are, we have access to empathy and and creative energy and um, ideas and access to our ancestors. I know all day for the last couple of days, I have been smelling my grandfather's cigarettes and mm -hmm. um, and cologne <laughs> all around me because the ancestors can can reach us more when we are in this Piscean energy. So you know, really, just use this day to um, use this day to be present to yourself. Use this day to see how your shadow is coming up. Like, how's this Mercury retrograde energy working in your life? Um, what are the things you need to let go of? That's what also Pisces is, is about. Pisces is where things come to die. Things come to 
be released. So what is it that you're really needing to let go of? We are doing a great deal of letting go right now with the Mars retrograde and the Mercury retrograde. And if you are having a hard time releasing things, sign up for the Mercury retrograde course because everything is there for you. And if you are having a hard time stepping into a new identity, really like really stepping out of your old patterns and ways of being sign up for the mercury the mars retrograde course because there you can find all the information that you need and if you need personal support you can sign up for a mercury retrograde reading or a mars retrograde reading or you can just book a um a private reading with me and I can assist you in doing what you need to do in order to move yourself through. Because the thing is, you can't go around this stuff. You have to go through it. So with that, that's all I'm going to say today because I need to go parent. And I actually have a reading coming up in the next few minutes. But I love you all so very much. Thank you for all the following and all the support and all of that. We are opening up new ways of being Life is going to be so much different than we've ever known it before because we are we are the people who are opening up the pathways into the age of Aquarius. All right. Peace and blessings. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.